Okay, so this question says, two spaceships are heading directly towards each other at some speed, that is when the uh, second ship looks at the first ship, the second ship is, okay, I think what I will need to do is, you know, they are all talking about all this speed, so um, what I actually need is the velocity addition formula, or the uh, relative, relative, well, relative, relativistic, velocity transformation formula. So let me open this up in a separate, separate window and have this on the side so that I can refer to it as I answer this. Um, this is one of the rare cases where I actually don't really recommend that you memorize the formula because um, Velocity transformation formulas are one of those uh, super ugly, super complicated looking formulas, these. Um, and this is basically the only place where you will see them. Um, unlike Lorentz transformation, which is very widely applicable, um, velocity transformation formula, this is it. You use it to transform velocities. And most times I'll try to avoid using them altogether. So just know where you have to look it up and know how to use it. Um, so with that, let me just uh, work through it. I think uh, with access to the formula, it, um, there isn't a lot of writing I need to do. So I think I can just uh, do it with the Zoom annotation. So let me just throw the pictures so that I don't confuse myself. I have Spaceship A going directly toward each other at zero point. Ah, I see, and this sentence uh, explains it. The second ship is a canister shot from the first ship. Okay, so uh, let me describe this uh, from the perspective of the second ship. And the question text is explaining how this is directly toward each other at 0 0.86c. What that means, it's not this. It's not saying that both the ships have this speed. Doesn't mean that. It says that is when the second ship looks at the first ship. So you are imagining yourself in the rest frame of the second ship. It sees the first ship approaching it at 0 0.86c. So this picture is what it's describing. Now it asks uh, if the second ship sees a canister shot from the first ship approaching itself directly at that speed. So that's the speed. So there's some canister that's been fired and it gives the speed of 0 0.99c in this reference frame, the frame I'm drawing my pictures at. At what speed did the first ship fire the canister? Yeah. So this is 0 0.99c, that's uh, this measurement. So what it's asking is, okay, imagine the reference frame. Uh, imagine this reference frame where ship A is actually not moving. Um, ship B is the one that's moving towards ship A at speed 0.86c. Then um, even in this picture, there will be a canister that's been fired away from me. And this speed here is what it's asking. So it's a velocity transformation um, uh, question. You are transforming this velocity here in this reference frame and you are shifting this velocity um, yeah and uh, you are shifting this velocity to this reference frame which is um, so if I'm drawing uh, pictures here let's just call this x and y and for ship b to be moving that way the reference frame here S prime, uh, this relative to this is moving to the right at speed of V, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and as you're moving into the reference frame, this will basically be slower than 0.99C. Okay, so that's good. So we are looking for, so let me call this a V prime, because that's gonna be in the prime the coordinate as far as I'm concerned. So I want uh, V prime in terms of my V, and, uh, oh wait, um, <laughs> let me not confuse myself with unnecessary differences in letters. So here, for speeds of objects, the textbook is using the letter U. 
So I'm looking for u prime given u in this reference frame and uh, end of v, this v here. So u prime given u and v. Now, in your textbook, uh, they only give this set of formulas. They don't give you the inverse transformation. Or rather, I guess this is the inverse transformation. They don't give you the transformation. But uh, there's a really easy way you can kind of convert this formula where primed and unprimed ones are uh, swapped. The way you do it is you basically imagine taking going from this reference frame to here is by imagining this is moving the opposite way at the same speed. So you can do this swap. Swap the prime or primed and unprimed variables. So I'm getting ux prime equals, and I'm priming this, ux. And wherever you see v, um, wherever you see v, change that with a minus v because your shift of reference frame goes the other way. So this is minus v. Um, the whole thing divided by, uh, sorry, this is going to be a bit in the way. Let me do it this way. Um, this quantity divided by 1, and then instead of plus v, minus v, so 1 minus v, and no more prime the quantity, ux divided by c squared. And you, you can also, you know, work through this algebraically and the end result should be the same. But this is where you're using the, um, your physical intuition to bypass a lot of complicated math. So um, the answer here should be, okay, my ux, that's going to be 0 0.99c uh, minus v, which is 0 0.86c divide by 1 minus, uh, C's are going to cancel out, so I'll just write out uh, 0 0.86 for my uh, V and for my UX, 0 0.99. Um, oh, uh, one word of caution is uh, when you're looking up and using these formulas, is that uh, you have two different uh, formulas, um, one for the component of velocity parallel to the, the relative velocity between the frames, that's uh, uh, u of x, and the other formula, uh, u of y and u of z, they describe the velocity component perpendicular to the, the relative velocity between the frames. And um, that's a... Uh, and, and, and that's unusual because when you do Lorentz transformation, uh, with the Lorentz transformation of length, for example, perpendicular components don't change. With the velocity, this goes to what I was saying at the beginning of this, that it's an ugly, complicated thing. <laughs> so um, the perpendicular components also change. So let me plug in the numbers here, uh, 0 0.99. Gonna just imagine factoring out C. Uh, minus 0 0.86 divided by 1 minus 0 0.86 times 0 0.99. That's it. Uh, 0 0.87, uh, correct? Yeah, so 5, 0 0.875. And C is already there. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, you know, you'll need this velocity transformation formula basically when you are doing velocity transformation questions. Um, let me see if uh, questions three and four are dealing with the velocity transformation again. Um, on the collision course. Yeah, so this is another velocity transformation question. Let me just uh, go through this quickly. Um, so we have our planets that are on collision course at relativistic speeds. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with these planets. Maybe they are in a Lensman universe where um, some we we heading towards each other. Hmm. I'm going to make a guess that they are heading direct directly towards each other in the similar way as question two, as in so if I'm in the planet number two. Then I'm looking at planet number one moving at this speed towards me. 
end, um, I am also seeing the space ship, which is moving towards me at 0 0.79 c. Um, then what is the velocity of the first ship relative to the first planet? Yeah, it looks like it's almost exactly the same as the previous question with spaceships replaced by planet and canister replaced by spaceship. So, so let me use the same formula. I think I remember it well enough to write it down. So I'm just going to basically write down a version of this that's applicable. Ux prime is equal to Ux minus V divided by 1 minus V Ux divided by C squared. And the quantities are, so this is going to become my V because I'm, uh, so this is my frame S where uh, the planet 2 is at rest and the reference frame where this planet 2 will be moving to the left at this speed is the reference frame S prime that's uh, moving to the right at that speed. Um, yeah, and this is my uh, U x yeah ux in my uh, planet two's inertial reference frame okay so let me just plug in all the numbers i have um ux so 0 0.79 minus 0 0.295 divided by 1 minus 0 0.295 times 0 0.79 so in the relative to the first planet it's moving at 0 0.645, um, see, yeah. It, these kind of questions are a bit um, boring in the sense that, uh, I mean, so you do have to get the right formula. That part can be challenging, especially if you're trying to use other, um, like Lorentz transformation. It's, they don't apply here. Um, but once you know the right formula, then it's boring in the sense that um, there is a lot of variety I can give as the question asker. Uh, I'm basically giving you some of the quantities in this formula and asking you for the remaining quantity. Very boring. Okay, let's look at question four. That's, again, why I haven't done this question before. Um, yeah. <laughs> so let me draw the picture again because maybe there was some change here. So... Who knows? Two spaceships are heading directly toward each other. Okay. And uh, I'm going to take the same interpretation as before. This ship is moving at some speed. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, okay. So this is a bit more interesting. So um, let me describe the perspective of the second spaceship. And one ship fires a missile towards the other ship. And in this reference frame where I'm describing it, this missile is moving at um, uh, the other observes it to approach at this speed, 0 0.945 C. Now, uh, the question actually doesn't give you this speed, speed at which the spaceship is um, we, it, it's not giving you that. What it is giving you is the physical picture from the other perspective. So in the picture where spaceship two is moving towards spaceship one at the, that speed of V, then in this reference frame where the first spaceship is at rest, it is saying that this uh, missile is moving away at this speed, zero point. 78c that's new um so it looks like it'll take a little bit of algebra uh let me do it this way let me do it the fun way which is uh instead of doing it by hand i can use my computer algebra system it's kind of what it's there for uh, let me define some quantities here so that i can write down my equations i will need a v that i'm gonna solve for I'll need a ux prime that I'll uh, give as an input, and I'll need a ux that I'll need uh, as an input. So my equation is going to be uh, ux is equal to 
um, uxp plus v divided by 1 plus v times uxp divided by, oh, I need a c squared. Um, oops, let me do it this way. Let me just copy this off so that I don't lose it. Okay, copy. Uh, I also need to define variable c. Paste. Wait, what? All right, I lost it. All right. Equation is ux is equal to uh, uxp plus v divided by 1 plus v times uxp divided by c squared. Okay. So that's my equation. And just copy that down because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the solve function in SageMath to just to have this solve for v uh, since that's not done anywhere. So I'll solve equation for v. I think that's all I need. Uh, let me see what it gives. It might complain. Sometimes it does, um, especially if uh, in order to solve this, they need some assumptions entered. Um, no, no assumptions. So that's the answer. Um, <laughs> let me put that into a solution. Uh, the underscore refers to the previous output, and I don't need a whole array. I just need a first element. So this is my solve the equation for V. I'm just going to substitute in some parameters. So uh, substitute my ux is, um, so that's the speed in this reference frame so that's gonna be um is that right yeah yeah so my ux is gonna be 0 0.945 times c i think it also fine my uxp is equal to yeah i think it's uh, 0 0.78 times c Okay, let's see what we get. Zero, so this is the same, the relative speed between the two must be 0 0.628 C in order for these relationships to work out. And that seems reasonable-ish. Let's give it a try, 0 0.628. And you know, uh, doing it this way, it's mildly faster than going through all that algebra uh, by hand. Um, I mean, you can, you know, move this over, collect the like terms for V and solve for A, which is fine. And, you know, you should know how to do it by hand. It comes in useful from time to time. But I will tell you, doing it this way you, with the computer algebra system, that's how most uh, scientists and engineers tackle complicated expressions. <laughs> you know, we got better things to do than work through tedious algebra. 